Okay, Audi A7 was recovered in yesterday, late on in the day. I uh, had a quick look at it last night before I went home. Uh, very slight in the dash. I could drive the car at the time. Uh, and there was a static fault code stored for the CAN bus high speed network. And it was in single wire mode. Uh, so single wire mode was active. Uh, and as I said, I still was able to drive the car. So today, I'm looking at the car again. Uh, I managed to erase all the fault codes. So the single wire mode was had changed to sporadic. Uh, so the fault was effectively gone. Uh, I just needed to do the end stops on the steering rack because that was one of the modules that was affected and it just needed the basic setting done. So I've come out of driving the car, I've just went to turn a corner uh, and I've broken down. So I'm in the street, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to show you what I've got. So I start the engine. Got all the lights in the dash, you can see we've got no engine RPM. I can't select any gears, luckily though I can get into neutral. So the dash has gone mad and I've broken down. So I did hit a bump, uh, a kind of couple of wee bumps in the road, uh, and that's when I noticed this happened. So I believe that maybe my network's chaffing somewhere. I suspect there's underneath the car and close to the steering rack, but I don't know that. So I'm going to get back to the workshop and we'll get this. Uh, we'll have a look at the network. We'll see if we can get this one diagnosed and hopefully we don't break down again. Okay, talk to you all soon. Okay, so I'm under my A7, uh, the one that broke down at me at the road. I've decided to check in at the gearbox, so I'm in the gearbox connector up there. I'll try and get a flash on that for you. Uh, just in the connector there, so I'm just back pinned in at the wiring. Uh, right now, <coughs> the plug's sitting over the, con the connector, sitting over the plug, but it's not pushed home. Uh, the reason why I've done that is I want to show you what I've got. So if we look at my network, I'll put the flash off. <coughs> so I'll just pause it. So I've got my cursors over can high. You can see we're at two and a half to three and a half. So the scaling's good right now, you can see on that. See on the, the network there while it's running. So if I just what I'm going to do is <coughs> sorry for that. Yeah, I'm going to slide the connector home. Okay. Well the scope's running. So I'm just going to slide this connector tab on to make connection with the mechatronic. Okay, I'll pause that. Okay, that's what's happening to our network. So I think what's happening is <coughs> uh, when the gearbox is cold, it's able to run and operate and communicate. Uh, when it heats up, we can see this. It's not a network. So if I just zoom in, give you a better look. You can see that, all that hash. So that's messing up the network in the vehicle and it's bringing all sorts of lights in the dash. Uh, just scroll through the buffer here so you can see it. Okay, so I'll just play the, I'll just run the scope, so that's live, and I'll just un unclip it again, just to prove the fault, that's it unclipped, I've got a network back, okay, just hook it back on, gearbox connected, I've got all the hash again, so it's an internal fault with the gearbox, the mechatronic unit, and it's messing up our network.